observe the obvious. It's important to be a witness, a watcher in a sense. Because we tend to be like automatons, repetitive, um, doing the same thing over and over again. And what happens when we make a habit of something, it seems like we're on automatic. It just happens, like a stimulus response machine. So that when you ring the bell, you get hungry or that sort of thing. So you associate one thing with another. And this is kind of how this mind operates. Not the divine mind. Uh uh. Divine mind doesn't think, it knows. It's us being. It's called the bliss zone. My book, Live Your Bliss. This is important. Talk about why it's important. Bliss is not. Um, you're, it, actually, bliss means you're purely conscious. That's what it is. When you're in the pure conscious state, you're blissful because you're not um, leaving your center and you're, you're observing from and experiencing from yourself in this moment, this now, as yourself being. Yes, so in observing the obvious, it's really important to take that position it's called the transcendental level. That means above, in a sense, where you witness and can observe what's going on. And when you do, then your natural awareness becomes stronger because you're actually perceiving the way it is here. And yet you're not judging it in the point in from um, like or dislike you're just neutral and the neutrality I like I prefer to be say transcendental you or and the witness and to be to be, have wit intelligence you see and that also as a witness, we're drawing from wisdom because we are wisdom. That's part of who we are. Because we're part of the divine. We want to call, I call Mother, Father, God, Source within and everywhere, you see. So as the witness, I don't have to react. And just notice how much you're reacting and who you're reacting to. Who pulls you out of your center? What gets you irritated? What, you know, gets you going? If you take a look at hate, then whoever and what we hate, we fear. And we fear them, and thus then we hate them because what we're doing is we're giving them the power in our own mind and making them greater than us. And we say, who are they and us? It's, we're playing two sides again of the game. The demons and the devas, you see. The angels and the devils. The Christ, the Antichrist. The good guys, the bad guys. Da -da 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 -da. Next version. The movies as they go on. You can see the new version. The good guys, the bad guys, da 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 da. This is a game, you see. So when we observe and we notice and we witness, we do know the truth from false because we have intelligence. We're not covered by the veils of ignorance that make us choose which side. 